What's up YouTube? It's Walker Heckman here on a crisp Saturday morning. We got wind chills about negative 20 even though it's not really windy out it's actually sunny and beautiful but there's maybe a few miles per hour of wind. We're out here fishing again finally so I got my shanty buried in better because after after last weekend I'm gonna be a lot more careful about that. I got the heater warming up in there. While the heater warms that puppy up I'm gonna set some tip ups. We're going after pike and perch again today and uh, I got a feeling it's gonna be a good one so make sure you guys keep watching. Before we get to the fishing make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. You do not want to miss out on my future videos or my thousand subscriber giveaway. I'll talk more about that giveaway at the end of the video. With that let's set these tip ups. Let's catch us some big old northerns. Alrighty guys so I made the mistake of setting up a shanty and getting everything you know packed in with snow and getting tip up set and stuff getting it getting the heater going. Without checking depths and what kind of a bottom we got on this lake because I've never been here before but I'm out in almost the dead center of the lake so I figured it's got to be deep you know going for perch I dropped my transducer down the hole and we're in like five and a half six feet of water is all and the bottom has billions of little bugs like I almost can't see anything with my camera because of how many bugs are on it so i punched a bunch of holes across the entire lake because it's a pretty small lake and i can't find depths deeper than like seven or eight feet or anywhere that doesn't have all these weird bugs in the weeds so i gave this spot way too much time it's already after 1 30 haven't even seen a fish haven't gotten a flag on the tip ups so i'm gonna do a super fast pack up and then I'm going to hit another pond and give that one a go. We're only going to have a couple, maybe three hours to fish it. But if you guys are seeing this video, I obviously was able to catch fish at that other pond. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Let's go try to get on some fish. I don't know why the bite's so finicky today. Boom, got one. First perch, guys. Oh, that's awesome. Finally. Oh, it's the biggest one I've caught. Oh, my goodness. Look at the size of that perch. Oh, where's my glove? Holy crap, guys. It's a big one. That is a big perch. Holy crap. Absolute jumbos in here. Oh, yeah. Absolute jumbos. Wowzers. That's the biggest one I caught out of here yet. Holy crap, man. On soft plastics, since I'm an idiot and forgot everything else, all I got to work with is soft plastics. This one ate it. This is the biggest one I caught out of here yet. I'm gonna have to get a length and width on this guy. Quit squirming. This is an enormous jumbo perch. Let me fix the lighting a little bit. There we go. Jumbo perch again. Two weekends in a row. That is an absolute lunker of a perch. Finally, he ate the soft plastic. Can't believe I forgot my stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and put him back now. Off he goes. Between fish here, I'd just like to apologize. I'm not getting any GoPro video because my GoPro batteries do not do good when it's this cold. I got them pretty close to my heater, but it's still just not working out. So no GoPro video, but hopefully you can hopefully you can understand that. Got like a negative 30 feels like out there, so the batteries just don't do so good. My big camera's fine. These batteries are also brand new though, so but just thought I'd let you know why you're not seeing any GoPro footage. We're actually at the same spot I was at last weekend, and if you didn't watch that video, I highly suggest it because we it was the greatest day of fishing I've had all winter but it ended very very poorly I thought I was gonna lose a bunch of stuff but ended up just losing a couple of buckets and I spotted at least one of my buckets on the far bank so when I pack up my tip ups today I'm gonna walk over there and get one of my buckets back maybe both of them but thought that was pretty funny they're still here but let's try to catch some more fish huh Alrighty guys, we got another flag up out here. We don't have that much time left, so hopefully this one's got a fish on it still. That first flag got totally skunked. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Ah. 
Alright, so that tip up was another hit and run. Since things are so slow, might as well come over here while I'm over here and grab that bucket. Got one of my Home Depot buckets found. Here's that thing out of the water, or out of the snow. Let's see if I can find the other one. Alright, well I'm gonna get back to jigging for perch, but got one of my buckets back. Pretty funny stuff. Let's hope we can catch another one. Alrighty guys, so with that, that's sadly gonna be the end of this video. I really wish I could have caught more fish, trust me, I do. But I'm out here, it's like a negative 30 feels like. I tried my hardest. We did get one nice jumbo perch, saw a few more on the camera. Just couldn't make it happen today for some reason. Really finicky bite. But with that being said, I promise most of my videos are not like this one, so be sure to hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss out on anything we're doing over here. And you don't want to miss out on my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm giving away an ugly stick spinning combo to one of my first 1,000 subscribers. It's going to be awesome. I'll leave the detailed rules for that giveaway in the description box. If you guys did enjoy this video, I mean, it was pretty funny. I was able to find my bucket, and we caught a nice jumbo perch. Be sure to hit that like button. It really helps my video out here on YouTube. And as always, keep it wild.